Hello again. This is going to be a short little clip here. Um, I spent uh, some time this weekend fixing the Clark Hess generator, which I got really cheap on eBay, and it used to be used by the FAA. I found a transistor in it that was being uh, altered by heat. So I, st yeah, I was, got a little interested to play with, with these things, then I decided to make a, a series resonance circuit, like here. Signal generator, capacitor, the coil, and the scope to see what would happen. What should happen is that the peak resonance, that the resonance determined by 1 over 2 pi times the square root of a, uh, inductance and capacitance, it should peak out in the sidebands, it should be lower. So let's see what it does. I also want this uh, BK generator really cheap. This is for 270 I got it for around $15 including shipping. So that's the one we'll try now. The, the circuit is the generator is generating there you can see on my, on my scope here. And it's all wired in series as the diagram. So we're going to increase from the center frequency one way and we see that it's being attenuated as we approach center frequency, maximum goes through. The other way, it also attenuates. So, um, the, the, it's resonating just perfect. This can be used, this circuit here has a, a loose wire, if you saw it counting, to 9,999. Um, but uh, I, I need to breadboard it. So, Sometimes there it comes back up. It's got loose wires, not just one. So what what is mainly used here is for like filtering out frequencies. If we have a frequency that we don't want, let's say it's around uh, 600 kilohertz, we can uh, use this. And at 600 kilohertz, that frequency will be grounded, and all the other ones, as we saw will pass on through to, to another stage or add more filtering to add to filter other uh, frequencies. I'm going to cut that this clip short now and um, just happy to see that uh, the, the generators work fine and um, the Clark has the part was $1.38 and uh, I don't know much about it I know it's an antique uh, I couldn't get any information on it when I bought it. It was a good deal uh, on eBay, under $20. Uh, I luckily found a mailing for it, so I was able to put, pinpoint the bad component. Um, so now I have two, two to play with. I got very cheap. Over and out, and uh, welcome to... Uh, oh, the other one here is the coal pits oscillator that uh, is built very with a 2N222 uh, and a couple of parts 82 or 100 picofarad caps and a 10k resistor. I'll try and switch over to that uh, to see how that neat little circuit is working if we can get it. Uh, there it is. We'll just change the, the voltage values here and the frequency adjust and see that four part little oscillator work is very versatile and very 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 uh, you know easy to work usually oscillators take a lot of work this four little part uh, uh, circuit here can give you a, a frequency to use and I forget the equation right now like I said it was going to be a short clip but you can find the, equi the equation for Colpis oscillators uh, if you Google it. Over and out. Enjoy a good day. Bye.